Whoa, is this the beginning of the end for cruising ducks on major cruise lines? Cruisers hide their little ducks with little information cards showing who the giver is as well as the dates of the cruise. Uh, many people enjoy finding these things. And uh, in fact, there's a Facebook group called uh, Cruising Ducks, the original group, uh, where you can post pictures on social media with your little duck. Like, Hi. seems innocent enough, right? So what's the story about these little ducks getting banned? Well, Disney Cruise Lines has come out and is actively discouraging cruisers bringing ducks with them and hiding them. Uh, that you, while you're still allowed to bring them on board, they strongly suggest you do not hide them in your stateroom or in public spaces. I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like pretty much the entire ship. Obviously, Disney only has room in their hearts for two ducks, and that's Donald and Daisy. All others stay home. It was further stated that the crew, any crew that found these things, would dispose of them properly. So I guess that means you're not going to get to hide them. They're going to be finding them all and throwing them away. And while this action does seem to be intended to reduce crew workload, I, I'm a little, little leery about that because wouldn't the crew normally be cleaning the spaces that you're going to find these ducks anyway? So is it really that much of a workload to find this as opposed to a cup or a glass or a toy or trash that everybody leaves behind on cruises, it seems like? I, I don't think so. so. So what is it? What is it with these? Perhaps. It's the fact that if somebody finds one of these cruising ducks and on the label it shows it was from three cruises ago, it causes a little embarrassment among the cleaning staff to see that, yeah, I did not get to this spot ever. So maybe that's the thing. I don't know. I don't know what the drive is. It seems, it seems a little bit over the top. So is this a trend we're going to see spreading to other cruise lines? Maybe, maybe, but take hope because both Carnival and Royal Caribbean have not adopted this policy. Royal Caribbean would like you to just hide them in public spaces. Again, always stay away from, from pools, restrooms, uh, hot tubs, or, or any shops. Uh, but anyway, so, so there's that. In fact, Carnival Cruise Line brand ambassador, John Heald said, many of the crew actually love finding the ducks and have them in their cabins and then they, it, it brings them cheer. You know, it's a good thing. We have absolutely no problem with guests leaving them as we do think it's fun. He followed with, the answer is no, we are not gonna ban the hiding of ducks. I know this is not for everyone, but I also get they are not disease riddled. And I also know it gives so many people joy, so why would we stop spreading that joy around? That's his statement. So awesome, good job, John. So hopefully the duck oppression that we're seeing is, is contained only within the Magic Kingdom fleet and it doesn't spread elsewhere. Uh, it strikes me as funny that a cruise line that seems to be dedicated to kids having fun would take the stance to remove something that most, if not all kids, would terribly enjoy. I don't know. And like everything else the cruise line does to or for its passengers, we can all vote with our dollars. We decide whether we go on that ship or not. Enough people don't participate in their cruises, they'll take notice. So until next time, happy cruising and hope you find a lot of ducks.